We're back here on TV 18. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. This segment's brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, uh, locally owned four locations here in Grand County, your hometown bank, Grand Mountain Bank. Check them out if you need a new bank, loans, and all that kind of stuff that you can imagine a bank does, they do. So uh, Keith Sanders is joining us, mountain bike guru among all things that you are, but it's summer season, so that means it's mountain bike season, right? Oh, it is, and it's just so exciting to get out there. The snow's melted, oh, we yeah. have great conditions, and we have all kinds of new stuff going on cool. with the trails. Okay. Yeah, it's you know we're fortunate we live here to where all we have to do is hop on our bike. We don't drive anywhere. Right. We ride the trails. Right. And the town of Winter Park this spring put in some a whole bunch of new just features and things on some of the local trails. So that way you can cool. go out and you can challenge yourself going okay. up and over rocks and around some burns that they built out of some wood and that what? kind of thing. Or, okay. Or you can just tool along and ride around all of that, not do anything. That's any what of I it. like. That's yeah. what I like. So let's start on that end, the easy end. Tell me some good, easy trails, easy access from the town of Winter Park, and that it's kind of just maneuvering in on a single track. Sure. Yeah. If you you know if you've got a little bit of skill, yep. You okay. don't have to have a lot. Okay. We've got some great trails right here, right out of the town yeah. of Winter Park. So you don't have to figure out where to go. Good. Real easy. What I like to do is I like to do the, some of the trails on the east side of the highway okay. over in the rendezvous or what we call okay. the Idlewild area. Okay. And I just go right by Hideaway Park, which yep. is right next to the chamber office. And people don't know that's where the free music yes. is, like on Tuesdays and weekends yes. and Thursdays. Thursdays and week, yeah, concerts and all that stuff. Yeah. And then you just follow it, go right behind there behind and that it? dead okay. ends right in on the Meadow Trail. Yeah. From the Meadow Trail, you can go up and access the National Forest and you have everything from something that you can really learn and develop your skills. Yeah. Or if you're a really high end skill rider, uh -huh. you go out and challenge yourself. And yeah you know, and really push the limits as well. There's something for everybody up there. It's really unique and it's really special, but yeah. it's one of my favorite places to ride. Cool, okay, Idlewild, right behind um, Hideaway Park. And we're moving really quick. We're gonna slow down a little bit. Yeah. Take a deep breath, it's morning, <laughs> we're waking up. Um, tell me some other um, easier trails, maybe as we go down Valley, there's some great stuff in Frazier, right? There is some fantastic stuff in Frazier. One of the things that I like to ride, especially if I'm going out with a new rider, I just mm -hmm. took a friend of mine out. She hadn't ridden a bike in 20 years. Okay. She lives in Fraser, didn't even know all these trails were here. <laughs> and she's really active. She loves going all these, planning all these huge yeah. trips to go someplace. Okay. Okay. And now she's saying, well, hold on, it's better it's here. Right here. So we took off right from Fraser, okay. right from the, basically the west side of Fraser. Yep. This trail called the Givalo Trail. Okay. Parallels the county road 73 right goes right by the rodeo grounds yep. it's very level it's not really hard it's the perfect yeah. thing if you've never really been off road that's where okay. i go okay. if you have kids yep that's where i take you it's right next to the gravel road which doesn't have a lot of traffic right, right. so if it's not your thing you yeah. can just take yeah. about four steps over and hop right. on the gravel road right. and off you go but it's a decent i mean it's not like it's as tiny little you can walk on that trail too i feel like so it's a pretty oh, yeah. you shouldn't have any trouble on it we call right. it single track but that okay. means it's really about three and a half four feet wide okay, okay. so it's yeah you know, it's plenty yeah. wide it's yeah. not like there's cliffs or anything next right. to it it's pretty right. mellow right and it's, and it's perfect. Then that goes right into a trail called Northwest Passage, okay. which is about the same difficulty. Okay. And that's just a great trail to kind of go out and back on. And then cool. always grab a map from one of the local bike shops yep. in the chamber. Yep. If you're thinking, I want to do a little more, there's probably another 200 miles of trails right. in that area right. you can do. Right. I have a lot of friends who like um, Flume. Is that right? That's yeah, exactly. out back that way and the Experimental Forest. And they talk all about it and they love it. And I just lay in the sun and do nothing in the yeah. summer but that's good for people who like to bike <laughs> yeah it is i mean flume is just it's like a, a yeah. beginner intermediate okay. a beginner okay. intermediate has enough challenges but the challenges are very short so good. Okay. you got up and you said oh it's going down a little and up a little rock here you're probably going to get off and walk about right. five seconds okay. to get through this okay. yeah but it's a feel-good trail good. slightly downhill we so we'll typically go up to the top uh -huh. which is on the west side then we'll come down and it just turns and goes to the forest right keep an eye out there's beaver ponds along it you will see beaver if you stop cool table. and wherever you see beaver you're probably going to see moose too right yeah. right it's beautiful there it's right out of our backyard beaver. oh it is it's, it's just awesome gorgeous. awesome awesome and all of the guys that you that work at your shops all bike right so oh, absolutely. first hand knowledge and um, all that kind of stuff. Oh, they're all avid bikers. They awesome. love to bike and they're going yeah. out yeah. all the time. Right. As are you. As I am. Right. Yeah. So Any moment you're not in your shop, you're on a bike. That's what I try to do. <laughs> so if I could sneak away, I certainly do. And you know, one of the things we really like is we have a ride on Friday evenings okay. at six o'clock. Oh, nice. Weather permitting. It's for the intermediate and above. 
It's open to anybody of that skill level and above, and we go out and just ride the trails. Cool. It's a, we call it a no drop ride, which means we wait at all the intersections. So if somebody's really fast, we tell them to do the hill twice. <laughs> you know, somebody's going along, and it's you know and that's right. their pace. It's, right. We don't want to rush them either. Fun new trails every Friday, or the same kind of one, or we we mix it up. What we try to do is say. Where haven't you been? Yeah. And then we say, well, that's where you're going to go today. Cool. Yeah, something new. That is awesome. That's all so fun. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back talking with Keith and mountain biking and some of his shops and all that kind of stuff. Keith Sanders is a national champion um, a biker, downhill yes. biker, um, cross, cross country. country. Cross country biker. So we'll learn a little bit more about him. Uh, Beaver Sports Shop, downtown Winter Park, rentals, and all that kind of good knowledge about mountain biking. So we'll be back here on TV 18. Don't go anywhere.